Hey, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I have a little bit of a product I'm going to show you here. I saw this um, on the Tipsy Bartender. I'll put a link down below for his channel or this video that he used them in. And what they're called is the Easy Squeeze Jello Cup Shot Cups. So I saw the cups on there. I thought that was pretty cool. So I researched them, found the website for them. It's easysqueeze.com. And then also they have their own jello mixes. And I thought I would try that as well. As you can see, I already made some here. This one's uh, Gone Bananas, Cherry Bond, and Pina Colada. And then the one I'm going to do right now is um, Strawberry Banana Smoothie. On the package, it says uh, two, two and a half cups of boiling water, entire package of mix. Mix until dissolved, and then add um, one and a half cups of vodka or rum. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the water and increase the alcohol. So I'm going to put two cups of boiling water to two cups of alcohol. And the alcohol I'm using is the Blue Chair Bay rum. It's just my favorite rum. It's coconut rum and I've used it in all these. Um, and if you actually look in the bottom of the bottle, there's actual coconut flakes floating in it. So that's my favorite rum. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get our boiling water here. And while this, while I'm mixing this, because we'll have to mix it for a little while, because I don't know if you've ever made Jello shots, if you don't get it dissolved really well at the end, once you get all your Jello out of the cup, there's going to be a uh, there's going to be a small layer of like gelatin that has gelled at the bottom more than you want it gelled. It turns almost to gummy. So we got, two cups. we got our two cups of boiling water. Now we're going to take our mix here. And they have 20 different flavors. While I'm stirring this, I'll go over all the flavors that they have. And they do like, they have injectors. It looks like a syringe kind of. And I'm going to sit here, I'm going to stir this for a couple minutes. I'm going to read over the, there's a little pamphlet that come with the stuff I bought here. There's 20 flavors. Apple teeny, banana cream pie, birthday cake, blue Mai Tai, bubble gum, cherry bomb, cotton candy, kamikaze, hot cinnamon, lemon drop, margarita, Miami Vice, orange crushed, Pina Colada, Pumpkin Spice, Purple Hooter, Razzle Dazzle, Sex on the Beach, Strawberry Daiquiri, and White Peppermint. The one that I bought, again, were the Gone Bananas, Cherry Bomb, Pina Colada, Margarita, Strawberry Daiquiri, and Strawberry Smoothie. Um, there's a few that's not listed on here. Um, go to their website. I think they have more flavors than what's listed on here. I think this is just kind of an old pamphlet that they just added in there. Um, the cups were, <coughs> excuse me, the cups were $11.95 for $100, and then the mixes were $20 for $6. And then I found a coupon for $6.38 off, so the total six packages of mix and the cups, the 100 cups with lids, was $35.85. So each cup cost about eight cents and then each pack of mix was about 280. You can go to Walmart and buy just Jello. it's 50 cents a pack, but I want to see if their flavors were any better than actual Jello. So I'm gonna mix this, okay, so now we got that all mixed up and see it's all dissolved. This, this bowl here I got at Dollar Tree several years ago, probably five, six years ago. It's got a thumb hole in it, and then it's got the pour spots perfect for jello shots or you can use it for anything. I could never find them again after I bought it. Uh, let's see here, got our two cups, maybe a little more, pour that in. The light, these that I made here, I got exactly 29 shots out of them. So, I have my cups lined up here. I don't have quite 29 of these little cups, the new cups left. So I got the big mouthwash cups or whatever those are I got from Walmart a while back. 
And the package says it'll yield uh, 30 to 35 shots, and that's going to completely depend on how full you fill them. And I wouldn't fill them all the way to the top on these because the lids do have a little, um, it's like a concave in the middle. So you can stack them. You can see they stack real nicely here. Matter of fact, I'm going to take this and we'll pour a little bit out. There you go. They sell a, um, they sell a pour a little pour jug that you can mix your stuff up into. I didn't buy that because I have this ball. But I mean, if you make a lot of jello shots, it would be worth it. It also says on there that these are washable. You can reuse them. Um, if you're doing a party or something like that, no. But if it's just for home, I would, I mean, I, I would probably, I would probably wash them out. I don't see any issue in them. Oh, see, there we go. That was a whole shot right there. So now I'm just trying to fill these up here. And then this one here. I'm going to taste it. I can't tell if that tastes like strawberry banana or not. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let these set up before I put the lids on them. And uh, what these cups are here, it's a, they have a patent on them. It's like they're, the bottom is almost like an accordion. So as you take the shots, you squeeze it up and it's supposed to come out cleanly. Um, in this cup, you can wad it up and it pops right back to shape. This is what I usually use. You squeeze it. It breaks. See that? It's broke. And there's no way you're gonna reuse this cup. I mean, you could pop it back out and reuse it, but I didn't buy them for the reusable part. I actually didn't realize they were reusable until after I bought them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these set up these set up in like two, it was about two hours, but they, I left them in there for three. The white one took the longest, it's pina colada. It took the longest to set up and it's still not set up quite right. So they need to set in there for a little bit longer. So I'll bring you back once I get these all uh, set and I'll recap them and then I'll try all four flavors for you. So I'll see you back here in just a few hours. Okay, I'm back with you been right at almost two hours. Uh, they are set up enough to go ahead and try them. This one is the, the one I made on camera. It's the strawberry banana smoothie. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And what you do is you pinch the bottom of the cup and as you're eating it you just move your fingers up and kind of squeeze it out. And you pretty much get all of it. There is a little bit more, but you can. And the cup pops right back to. That's good. It tastes like strawberry. I don't know if I really taste banana in it at all. So now I'm going to try this. This is the Cherry Bombed. Let's try it. The longer they've set up, the better they come out of the cup. They do come out of the cup and there's no mess. Now this one is the banana, gone banana. The cherry was good, but the flavor is just like any other jello, just a regular cherry jello. That one's really good. That one, that one was banana. That one was really good. 
And then this one is the pina colada. It almost looks like milk, but it's set up really well. Here we go. Pina colada is my favorite. Pina colada, then banana, then the cherry, then the strawberry. The strawberry is not bad. I just don't taste any banana. I think if I'd have mixed, if I'd have did layer, you can layer these. If I would have layered the banana and then like did like strawberry daiquiri on top of it, that would have been really good. So the cups really do work. Um, this isn't a sponsored video, so they didn't send me any free product to do this. The lids are kind of a pain in the ass to get on. They really are. Some of the cups, some of them they pop right on. The others you have to kind of uh, mess around with them to get them on there. See that one popped right right on. But overall, I mean, I do like the product. If um, like if I was going to do Jello shots for home just to have them at the house, then I would just go with this. But if I was going to a party or having a party where there were going to be, you know, lots of people around, I would do this. It's a lot, it's a lot less messy. You don't have to have the uh, spoon or anything to release the gel out of the cup. I probably would buy them again. Um, and their gel mixes are really good. But if you're going to do jello shots, I mean, it's just you can go to Walmart and buy jello. Um, I'm, but I'm going to try more of their flavors. I am going to order some more flavors because I think their banana flavor is really good and the pina colada flavor was really, really good. So, so that's going to wrap up this part of the video. Um, I am going to add a link in the bottom for their website and I'm going to add a link for the Tipsy Bartender where I've seen these um, first advertised. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. There's another, I'm going to do another Jello shot too um, here in a few weeks. I'm going to order it and then I'll do it in a few weeks. I won't do it butted up against this one, but I'm going to do, I'm going to make a Tide Pod Jello shot. One of my friends was talking about um, it would be fun to see. Um, they do offer a pack, or they offer the recipe and the flavors you need to make the Tide, Tide, Pod, Tide Pod Jello shot. But I'm gonna do mine a little different. I have a different idea of mine. So I'm gonna get these back in the refrigerator. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and see you next video.